I would like to see him maybe, you know, socialize with Chinese kids. But is it imperative that every single person that comes in the room I got to compete with? It, I mean, Christ. And I like to compete, but I like to compete in something that's a competition, not competing in not- life. I'm living fucking life, you know? Oh, exactly. And that's the way competition is supposed to be. Yeah, it's a foot race. When I agreed to go have a foot race and then whoever wins, wins, whoever loses. But I don't wake up every morning looking to dominate everyone around me. It, it's 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 a it's just an empty life. You you uh you end up being by yourself because nobody can handle being around you because you're too much of a friggin' nut. <laughs> and that's a nice way to put it, Kevin. Come on. <laughs> but that, that's the thing, like if you can't be secure within yourself and be happy with your life, you're never going to be happy. It's like when people say, you know, you have to love yourself before you can love another. You have to enjoy your life and what you're doing and find fulfillment in what you're doing before you're ever going to be happy. Stop what other people think. Stop yeah, we don't care what other people think. Care about what yourself. You got- well, you gotta keep. You gotta let some of them, what I what I know is that if my friends, if my family, if my kids, if they see me as rational and they see me as decent, then it it matters to me, right? So yes, what I what I what I, what I do no. is I I don't give strangers the ability where I I I don't I don't give a stranger the ability to dictate my reality. But yeah. a stranger is only a stranger until you meet. And once you meet, if, if you're if you're welcoming, then you have a new a new connection. And then once you've made that connection, then you do worry about what they think in regard, because what you're what you're you're trying to do is create a situation that's fair. And so if you're trying to be fair, you really can't determine what fair is because you're not the recipient of your actions. Others are. And so in order for me to know that I'm doing something that's reasonable, I have to ask the person that's that's the, on the other end of it. Yeah. So once I bring you in, I care. Once my daughter tells me, Dad, you're fucking aggro about this. I'm like, oh, I got you. Uh, I need to calm down because it's just my generation. It's all right, baby. I'll Thank you for helping me understand. Yes. Pointing and it out she, to me. Yeah, she's pointing it out. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Because um, you're you're being honest with me, saying, "Dad, just calm down." <coughs> and so yeah. I can't because it, I know that I'm not right. Like I know that I'm just me, and I, I I'm really not trying to make other people live my life or or live under my ideals. I'm just trying to create something that works for me as a a working framework, and then I try to hang out and connect with other people that are similar, so that. I can enjoy my time. I don't, and and it's funny too because it, it pisses people off because I'm around cats with, with with buckets of money all the time, and they're like, "How come you don't go after their loot to go do shit?" And I said, "Because I went after their heart. I like yeah. the people. They just happen to have money, but it's not the money that I'm touching. It's not the money I'm playing with. It's it's not about that. It's about the person. And if I didn't like you, I wouldn't hang out with you." no matter what you had. And I think that that's really what it comes down is that we're so busy trying to make benefit from the relationship. It's all this, you know, networking. And I'm just like, think fucking explain to me what that is. Like, because I don't see any value coming out of half this shit you're doing. What, what matters is that you're, you're somebody that doesn't create drama for other people. When you are next to them, they don't fear you stealing from them. And if the fucking car crashed, they they assume you would try to pull them from the burning wreck, right? Like this, yeah. Simple shit. Like if, if it goes wrong, you're still with me at least to the degree you can. And yeah. if I know that we cool through, you know, tough times, and I know we're cool through good times, because both of those times is where you see the truth in somebody. When people are down, usually they're like, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do wonderful shit." Then they get up and they're different. Or when they're up, they're awesome. And when they're down, they're different. If I can see you up and down, I know your middle. And if your middle's pretty good, that means that we can hang out forever. Yeah. And so for me, you know, what I like is I like long-term relationships. I like long-term friendships. It makes me nervous when you don't have anybody you've hung out with for time. You don't have to have 100 friends. I just need to know you have at least one person 
that you can jive with for time. If you change in your phone number every other week, it scares me. Yeah, me like, too. Like, like why are you, 30 years. You know what I mean? I yeah, I'm just like, wait, like you, you're so uns the if you're if there's there's and life isn't the same for everyone. It's not it's not fair. And some people have way fucking yeah. hard lives. And in that in that regard, you have to be able to measure them a little different because their stress level is different. And I learned that from from uh, the the opiate issue about pain, where I I didn't quite catch that these people that they weren't fucking assholes on their own. It was because they were in chronic pain that they couldn't get rid of. And it, it was eating at them. And when they got into the opiate issue, it, it created another series of problems and it was eating at them. And what I realized was that I wasn't looking at them correctly because I didn't know their story. And it was only until I sat down and said, like, holy Christ, you're a fucking nightmare to deal with. And they're like, oh, Kev, I'm in constant pain and I don't know how to deal with it. And I'm losing my mind. And I said, whoa. It, it really helps you realize that you, 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 you can't just make snap judgments and you, you have to be able to try to always come down a level in terms of humanity so that you're, you're able to allow people to enter your world and you're not so judgmental on what you do. And what happens is you end up having a far richer, better life.